some people might wonder why my party team looks the way that it does. That's right, we're gonna be running this in the battle spot and I'm gonna hit challenge, no turning back right now. So I was thinking if I'm doing a Bidoof sweep, if I'm doing like a Bidoof video, I could just have five other Pokemon that could save me the battle, maybe support for Bidoof, you know? We can up the opponent's team and then just go in for the amazing win. But no, that's not enough. If we're going for the ultimate disrespect Bidoof, we need five Rejects and a Bidoof, and that's how we're going to play it. Now, I'm not expecting to win. This is the most fun, chill, not caring thing I could do. But I'm, I'm thinking there's a lot of really fun aspects to this. We can see how people respond to the Bidoof. Like, this is a free battle spot. There's legendaries. There's really... People can try hard, people can not try hard. This is the freest win possible, unless, like, it's the ultimate thing. Like, you know, if they're playing regular and they get a little lazy and go for some setup and then Bidoof takes off on the Moody, that could work out in our favor pretty well. But if not, you know, this is the freest win. So are they going to try hard? Are they just going to stomp us? We could actually come up with this. So it's also like a loss montage until we eventually build to that glorious one Bidoof sweep, maybe more. Ooh, the Mew's going to be interesting. Now, he can knock off my Eviolite and then things suck a bit. So that's not going to be fun, actually. Um, let's go and just go... I... He has an Arceus. I'm looking at the rest of his team. I think he has a mix of, like, physical and special attackers, so... Getting the Amnesia where we can might just be good. Go for an Amnesia, go for a Curse, see how he responds to it. And he's got a Roost. So now I'm really confused as to what he's up to. Um, it, uh, okay. This is absolutely different than what I was expecting. I was expecting him, like, lead Arceus, Judgment me, and one-shot me. Or something like that, or at least knock off my Eviola. So this is Moody Badoof. I could be playing Simple Badoof. There's a lot of other options I could have. Actually, the will. Oh my gosh, I think we can actually win. I was expecting to lose like 10 times to finally get a good sweep. This could get good, because yeah, he burned me, but I have the rest. I don't have Protect on this set. Because I could have like. I could have also gone B Barrel, but I want the Badoof sweep. You have to lose to a solo Badoof, since I can't bring just one Pokemon in the battle spot. I should also be keeping track of the Moody's. Evasion. Oh my gosh. This is we, what we need. We need to survive the first turn, get a really good stat boost, and then get an evasion boost, and then kind of have that evasion snowball. I avoid the taunt because of the, the evasion boost right there. Oh my goodness, this is actually working. Okay, so that's a curse right there. I have double defenses. Actually, te technically times three because of the Evio life. I have really good amnesia. I'm starting to gain attack. Now, this team does have flaws. Or team. This Pokemon has flaws because of the stored power, or secret power. Wait, what is it? Secret power. Secret power is gonna be a normal type move. Now I have secret power selected specifically because there's a 30% chance to paralyze in a in an online battle, I believe. Um, I just hit rest, and I should've probably gone secret power because I just want to rest away that burn. That burn is fairly annoying. So I can't use rest after that. If that was a secret power, that would've been free. So now I need a lot of moves to miss, and I need to get really tanky. So attack gain, not good. Special defense, very not good, but fortunately it only drops by one and I can boost by two. So eventually the Moody is going to make me like ultimately max stats. There's the Psychic, I should still have some good special defense. He's not damaging me, secret power. If I get the Paralysis, that just adds to it, you know, evasion, paralysis. I'm not doing anything for damage though. All right, looks like we're gonna lose anyways. He gave us false hope. Uh, special defense raises, attack falls. So we're going to be taunted for this turn. And then we need to rest next turn. All right, so that's going to... We need the taunt in this, though. We need the taunt in this more than anything. And then we can get more curses and get stronger and stuff. But the Mew has Roost, so we could be here effectively forever. Um, yeah, like, that taunt's going off no matter what, pretty much. And there's no way we can really stop it. So our best time, right... Our best chance right now is with the rest. Oh, I went for the Psychic. I avoid it. Oh, cool. Hmm, so what I could, like now, like I wasn't expecting to go up against the Mew. I was hoping it'd be like some hyper offensive frail sweeper Pokemon that uses a turn on Dragon Dance or Swords Dance and then I go for the Cursor and Amnesia, I don't know. I wanted to get like maybe a small Combine Warp, but now we're at the point where Mew is going to be way too tanky. It's like a full defensive Mew. He has Psychic for some reason though, the Will-O-Wisp, no knockoff. He's got Taunt and Roost, but he's going to be able to heal up forever unless we, he, like, paralyzes, like, 20 million times. And even with max attack, I'm not going to be hurting this Mew too much. So speed is going to raise. Evasion falls. That's bad. The evasion was is what was keeping us in this. So I have good special defense right now. The micromanagement of Badoof. And then he's going to go for the Wolvis, but I avoid it because I'm already asleep anyway. So, yeah, it's going to come down to the taunting versus, versus like, the rest and whatnot. 
and we lose attack. So another weird thing is that eventually we're going to have a max attack from all the cursing we're doing, and then we're going to be able to get our speed back up to like a very high amount. So cursing is going to make us low. Moody might bring our speed up, and then we go for a sweep. And he hasn't switched yet. He has other legendary Pokemon that can probably deal with me. But he's sticking in with the Mew because the Mew walls me. He wins the long game, potentially. I'm losing attack right there. That's not good. I'm just going to keep going for the curse. And it looks like he wants to force me into an early rest. Because without that Will-O-Wisp, it's really going to hurt. But without the taunt, then I can heal up whenever I want to. Oh, right. I forgot about this. AFK Badoof. So what we do is we get so tanky the opponent can't knock us out. And then we win on the last turn. And... Okay, so I thought he was going to, like, go full-timer and be an absolute jerk on us, but doesn't look like it. I need to get the paralysis, though, and having only one evasion isn't good, so we need a boost for evasion right now for that taunt. So gaining attack, gaining defense, losing speed, uh, stuff like that's going to happen. There's the burn. That, that burn is so nasty right there. And the moody boost, defenses, and evasion falls. Okay, now we're actually we're kind of screwed right now, so what we need is we need the seek of power to get a paralysis. Is he going to go for that taunt? Oh, he withdrew the Mew. Okay. We need this secret power to get Because then we don't have to worry about it. And I think our tankiness is enough. Oh, Digger's B, though. That's not good. So, things are getting fancy right now. So, that's going to be the secret power. And, of course, he has another shiny Pokemon. And do I want... I think I should rest. I should get rid of this burn as soon as possible. We're, like, super defensively tanky. There's the evasion right there. And we lose attack, so we're not doing as much damage. It doesn't matter too much. We have a lot of curse. And let's just rest and see what the Diggersby is up to. Because the Mew... Okay, I avoid the U-turn. That works out pretty well. I just want to be rested. So as I can keep resting. I don't know why he's like U-turning into the Mew. But yeah, I, this is also... I wanted to sweep with Bidoof. But yeah, it doesn't have enough damage. The B-Barrel is much better. The Barrel has a lot more stats. Uh, Bidoof, could I Toxic? Because then that means I only lose to Poison and Steel-type Pokemon instead of just Normal-type Pokemon. Or Ghost-type Pokemon. Uh, the Toxic would take pretty long as well. We could be on Battle Spot effectively all day. I didn't think this one through. I thought it was going to be a lot more fantastic and flashy, but we could still win battles with the solo Badoo. Uh, I was hoping that at plus six attack, I'd actually have some damage on that secret power, but we don't. And Mew, okay, he's got the Registeel, so yeah, we're definitely gonna be here all day. We'll see if this concludes with me winning with more hit points, or if we get a tie. If I rest and it's an evasion turn, things get funny. Oh hey, I got a I got a paralysis on him. So he I've been getting tons of evasion boost. We're probably close to max evasion, and now it's really hard to keep track of Moody all the time. Because this battle is effectively going on forever. So special attack's gonna drop right there. That's fine, we don't need special attack. That's like one of the stats that could be bottomed out. So we get the forfeit! There we go! I, that's why I wanted to turn on. I felt the forfeit was maybe coming. But we actually get a win, so it's not sweeps it's just i guess this disrespect I, I wanted to title the video um badoof disrespect before i even made the which is why i'm doing like the level one badoof like i didn't think it was going to be sweeping and obviously it's not going to be sweeping even with plus six attack so let's continue battling now let's go watch ourselves get absolutely mopped right now but we got our one win out of the way xerneas for the open okay okay xerneas how's He's going to be able to gain stats a lot faster than I... Well, actually, no, I have them... I, I, it doesn't matter if I have Moody or Simple or whatever. It, it's just that his special attack is going to be so much higher than my uh, special defense, even with the Amnesias and stuff. We can see where this goes. I have the Eviolite, so I'm going to try to get tanky. He went for the Geomancy, at least. So, if I can Amnesia, I'm still on pace with him. This is going to get, this is going to get bad. This, there's no way this is happening. Like, the Xerneas just pumps out too much damage. Maybe I shouldn't have done rated, or for, yeah, maybe I shouldn't have done free battle spot. I just kind of slapped this together, and that didn't work out too well. So Badoof's going to go for that amnesia right there. So now we have the same amount of special defense compared to special attack. And if the Moody goes in my favor, evasion! <laughs> oh my goodness, we might actually get the speed. I don't care if that drops. I'm going to be going for the curses anyways. Let's go rest. Let's, or let's not rest. Let's go amnesia. We're going to go plus six, and we're going to hope. That's a Badoof tanking up pretty well right there. So I'll be able to survive this one. Or I'll be able to survive the next hit. Um, is this when we rest or not? Let's see where the Moody goes. Special defense. Oh, hey, we don't have to use Amnesia anymore. Nice, okay. So that means we can go for the rest. Because we're going to take the hit. We're going to go for rest. Oh, wait, I used Curse. Oh, crap. That was bad. I went for the Focus Blast, though. Um, Moonblast stab after that? Like, he's... I'm going to survive. That's crazy. 
So I get that curse off. Okay, that would have been like the excellent time to rest. But we still have that evasion boost. Can we get some more evasion? Attack. That's fine. Oh, the attack is actually really good. And all right. Wait, no evasion. Okay, so I, I got the I got the curse mixed up with it. We have two evasion boosts right now. Or actually, we have yeah. So we're at plus four evasion. We should be able to survive. We should be able to rest. And if we can take out the Xerneas. Oh, that's not cool. We got so close. All right, we're going up against this opponent. Let's confirm our team. Let's get into the battle. And I've been seeing some really weird stuff. Like I wanted to do a straight video about just putting up, um, getting absolutely obliterated in very creative ways, but people aren't creative. When they're given a free win, they just still use Dark Void on the um, Darkrai and use Nightmare for some reason, and then really try to stall the battle out. This, this is free. You shouldn't be mad at me for bringing in a Badoop or something. I don't know. That's Kangaskhan. His battle is over immediately. Um, yeah. Fake out into, like, evasion might mean something. Like, at least he's going for the fake out. So, we get an evasion boost. He misses double edge, so I flinch right there. Oh, wait, he didn't mega, though. No mega. And I get the evasion. Oh, boy. So now I can actually start boosting defenses. And, you know, this could get interesting right here. So that's going to be the Mega Kangaskhan right there. I, I guess that's a thing. So at least... The double edge could still land, and like double edge landing is really bad. So we need to miss. We need to get the boost. Oh, he's got return. Oh, this is what it's all about, guys. This is what it's all about. So yeah, it's like one in. It can also grab from accuracy and evasion. So what is that? Like one in seven battles, I can win off of like the first evasion boost or something. Don't need that special defense drop. That's kind of bad. I got the um, curse already. So let's curse again. He doesn't have the double edge, he has the return, which is actually pretty nice, because he's not going to do absolute amounts of damage. Still a lot. Could have rested, but you know, we just got to buy turns, so that's another curse. If he misses the next return, or if he misses the next attack, then we can go into that rest. I'm gaining attack right now. He won't be able to absolutely destroy me, come on. See a good one right there. Speed, doesn't matter with the curse, and accuracy is going to fall. I don't care about missing hits right now. Uh, maybe when I'm trying to secret power, we, we will care, but it looks like... The Kangaskhan. Oh yeah, all you had to do was like Mega Evolve into that return. Oh. So this is like, yeah, just playing, it's playing on people that aren't going for the straight win. If you go for the straight win against this team, team, it's it's going to be super easy. But now I'm asleep. I'm getting moody. That's going to be a speed, ra speed raise for no reason and another accuracy drop. Okay. That accuracy is really sucking now because whenever I want to attack, I'm not going to be able to. And he's going for the return. There we go. There we go. So there's the return, now we can see that it's doing less than half. So if we get one miss, we can like rest this one out and interesting things might happen. Uh, we just wait for the moody stacks at that point. Special attack raised Sharpie, bad. Speed fell, impartial. We need special attack to go down. We could like attack boost, we want to start seeing our accuracy back, but evasion is always better than any of them. Um, I guess we just keep spamming the rest, unless he misses twice. So there's another return, all right. We're gonna clutch it out on this next one. So there's two return hits, boom. Back down to 22 hit points. I'm asleep this turn. If he misses the next one, I get to rest, and then we're going to be good to go. So these are like those hope moments. Speed rate, nah, nah. We're getting really bad moody though. We, we're, we're not, I don't think, like we had a couple of opportunities to get this one carried, but the weirdest luck is happening right now. We're, if we're in KO range, it's going to miss is what we're looking at. But if we got another evasion, I wouldn't have to worry as bad. If, we, if our accuracy wasn't as bad, if we got another miss, if we got some defenses, please, gain defense. No! That's the opposite of what I asked. Okay, so now he's actually going to be able to two-shot us. Unless we gain defense next time. This is weird. So, there's the return. That's doing substantially more damage right now. So... Evasion boost, defense boost. We need one of those right now. If not, we are we are going to lose, is what it's looking like. Attack raise! And I just threw my stylus. Special defense drop. This is bad. Um, How much evasion luck are we going to have on our side? There's the return! This is unreal. If we gain defense right now, we're actually going to keep this one going. The struggles of Badoof. Evasion. Special defense drop. Oh, these are still very, very nasty. Um... We can keep resting forever. We can keep resting forever, except, nope. That defense drop, not, oh, that defense drop killed us, darn. Okay, so that that's how that one ended. Um, 
I'm trying to think of like other ways that things could have happened. Yeah, like I was also remembering my AFK Badoop because I could technically win through just timer stalling, you know, from turn one. Just hope for the stats and then win it in time because that's why I remember this um, Badoop doesn't win. He doesn't do damage <laughs> like one would expect a Pokemon that's trying to sweep to do. Let's see how this battle turns out. I'm, I'm, I don't have anything to say. I, I ran out of story things to talk about. Unless I can think one up on the fly. No, I can't really, because I'm, I'm a very, very boring person, and I just have to commentate what's going on right now. And the opponent's team, lead Blaziken can win. That's all he needs to do. If I see another Vivian that goes for that sleep powder, I'm going to be kind of annoyed, because it just seems like more than you need to do to take out the Bidoof. Um, it's starting to get late as well. I'm starting to run out of recording time, so might try one or two more battles and see where this one goes. We got a cool one though. We we had two really lucky times. We got the win, and now we're going to see. Well, we got the win by default from the forfeit, and maybe we can get a timer out of here, and things will be absolutely fantastic. Actually, this would probably be the best story time um, strategy ever. If I was going for like the AFK Badoof, it's just like. I have 30 minutes to tell a story, go. And sometimes I could just lose right there. Or maybe I should set it up to where I'm ready to win. Please just go for Quiver Dances and stuff. Like, you don't need to make this battle longer than it needs to be. Alright, there's a Sleep Powder. He's making this battle longer than it needs to be. <sighs> do I, I'm, I'm going to waste his time now if, you, if he's going to do that. You didn't... There's nothing else I can do. Like, you look at that team, there's one level 50. There's only one thing you need to do. So, I'm, I'm, I'm wasting his time right now because of that. I, I guess it's because I'm salty about all the other people. But I'm here to have fun. You don't need to do this. And this turn is almost up. Gonna hit the amnesia at the very last second. Hurricane, please miss. Oh, yeah. That's what you get for putting me to sleep. He's been, he was using Hurricane as well. Like, you could just quiver dance one turn and then win. But no, and I'm not gaining any stats, which is very unfortunate. Actually, I'm time stalling him on this one, too. This is where things get interesting. How much does a win on the free battle spot matter to someone? Because, I mean, if you want the five minutes of your life, if you want to save the next couple minutes of your life, if you find your time in life more valuable than winning free battle spot, you could forfeit right here. But he's going to keep using Hurricane, and I, I honestly hope that would miss, because you do, you're not using Bug Buzz against the level one Squirtle. Like... That's the freest kill. You're using the inaccurate move to do so. Oh, man, I should have taken my full time on that one. But yeah, like, so you could have forfeited. It means nothing to lose in the free battle spot. But he's not. Interesting social experiment moment going on right here. I guess another thing I can talk about is what makes an unsporting um, timer stall. Uns this is not unsporting timer stall. This is just chilling. This is me not really caring about anything whatsoever. But an unsporting timer sp stall is when you're actually manipulating the game clock to win. I'm not trying to win. I'm not, like, using the remaining time on my Bidoof to win. And actually, in most cases, like the AFK Bidoof video, people said, like, I'm against timer stalling, I'm a hypocrite for doing that in the video. I already won that. He went into the shuckle, and he decided to stay into shuckle instead of forfeiting and then saving all of our time. So I had the guaranteed win condition anyways. Didn't really matter too much about the Bidoof. So if I already have the win condition, yeah, then... Timer stalling doesn't really matter. That means they're just being stubborn. Same with this on the free battle spot. So I'm not here to like win. I'm not trying to manipulate to win anything. I'm just trying to gauge the interesting attitudes on the Pokemon battle spot right now. I want to see the hurricane. Oh my goodness. Miss. Ah, oh, that would have been so awesome. That would have been so awesome. But yeah, apparently winning against a level 50 Bidoof and a team of level one Pokemon is more important than seven minutes of this guy's life. Now, it doesn't matter for me, because I'm making money off of you guys watching this video and buying G Fuel, use code Velocify. Um, but overall, it's really interesting to see how people take this game so seriously. I'm just having fun. They, they have to do all this weird stuff that doesn't make any sense. Oh, wait, the music wasn't on for that one. Darn it. Yeah, let's go and turn on the music for this one. All right, one more battle. Maybe we'll get something cool out of this one. I, I just want to get slapped around. I want someone to be straightforward with me. I've done so many battles, but I don't want to use the recording because they all turn out that, like that last one. Don't You don't lead Darkrai. If you lead Darkrai, I'm stealing your, the rest of your day. That's just how it works right now. I'm, I'm not... Like, it, I, I said in the beginning of this video, I'm trying to be chill. I don't care about this one. I'm not like mad. Maybe maybe just a little salty, but I'm not like really getting unsporting over this. I'm, I'm getting upset that people aren't trying to be sportsmanlike and just win and try to make this as efficient and clean as possible. They have no reason to take this seriously.
So he's going into Mewtwo. There we go. I like you, Noah. Except for that shiny Mewtwo. I don't like you anymore. Um, we can see where this ends up going. So, yeah, Mewtwo is shiny locked in X and Y. So that means it's either a transfer Mewtwo from some shiny event from a long time ago where it doesn't even have good IVs. Yeah, I doubt it. So is he just going to... Oh, Mewtwo X. Hey! When two worlds collide, when two videos collide, uh, is he is he going to go for the bulk up or the drain punch or something? Yay! Noah! I really hope that isn't a hacked Pokemon then, because that means you probably watch this video and you're showing to me that I'm, like, this is one video meeting another, and you're showing to me that you've seen my video and you're applying my strategy. Why are you using Fire Blast after- okay, never mind, maybe this isn't a fan. Because my- wow, I could actually win this one now. Uh, my video is very hard to replicate in a way. It took me several hours to soft reset for that Mewtwo, it took me several more hours to breed it. If you've already beaten X and Y and caught Mewtwo, it's really difficult for you to get a non-hacked one, so... Having a shiny, that's just way, way more obvious that it's hacked. Please don't misrepresent uh, the One Punch Mewtwo that way. The Fire Blast is weird. The Poison Jab- okay. I don't even know what- That animation looked off. Like, either he punched down and it stretched, or it looked like a poison thing. So I'm poisoned now, which is actually really bad. I didn't need to get poisoned, but I do get the curse. Let's get an Invasion Boost at the end of the turn, because now I'm taking this win seriously. That's not the One Punch Mewtwo, though. So I can- I can rest. I should survive the Poison Jab. I don't know why he's not running Stab. Oh, I don't need these garbage things happening. Okay, let's go and rest then. I, I need defenses, not special attack. I need evasion, not any of that. He's going for the bulk up. I guess he knows I'm forcing... Oh man, he's going to be able to get some mad stats right now. So while I'm asleep, I need to be getting at least two defense boosts, which is not happening. The luck that I've seen so far is not going to make it that way. Once we get all the bad ones out of the way, but that's just gambler's fallacy. So I have no idea what this is. Go what this is. Okay. Cool. He also has a Darkrai. I'm not a big fan of seeing Darkrai on the free battle spot. So that's like, are you really that desperate to win in a free battle spot realm that you're bringing a Darkrai? That's really sad, honestly. Okay. Gaining defenses or special defense. I don't know what he's doing right now. Evasion! Alright, we need that. Evasion is always number one. Um, if we gain anything else, that's cool. So, I can't read this guy. He's been gaining defenses, but he still throws out... That animation looks really off. Like, I, his arms are not super stretchy extendo long like that. And that's going to be another evasion boost. Alright, now we can take those gambles, huh? Okay, uh, I want to go use the curse on this one. Because Blizzard's not good. Well, two Blizzards could. But Blizzard's very low accuracy. Same with Fire Blast. So with the evasion, yeah. So that means I survived this poison jab. I withdrew the Mewtwo. Okay, so I get a free bulk up. And there's the Darkrai. Alright. Yeah, this guy's obviously a hacker. If anyone in the comments section says that he isn't a hacker because he has a shiny Darkrai and a shiny Mewtwo, you're a freaking moron. I'm just going to say that right now. Two things that make me upset in Pokemon. Cheating. And, I guess, taking the game too seriously. Even though, technically, people could say I'm taking it too seriously because I don't want to see an ac actual cheater. Like, this guy's just breaking the rules. How am I supposed to not be mad about that? So he's got to... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's going for Dark Void. And he's going to miss because I have plus four on the evasion. It's an 80% accurate move. He's too late now. He should have just not brought Darkrai. He had enough on his team to where he didn't, where Darkrai wasn't even needed. Okay, so let's go for the rest. There's his Dark Void. Yes! Because I need, I need to sleep on my own terms so I can heal up. And then he doesn't do any damage. Focus Blast, very inaccurate. Um, Dark Void, probably not going to do too much damage right now because I have all that uh, amnesia boosting. Let's turn it around on this hacker. Don't! Okay, I forgot about that. So I can't rest against him because of the bad dreams. And the bad dreams even counts to rest because I've never been in this situation ever in, the, in my eight years of competitive Pokemon battling. Wow. Um, guess we start throwing out curses to get him paralyzed. Dream Eater, but I'm going to avoid. So, I mean, it's like being awake and dark. Hmm, I'm trying to figure out all the moves then. So we'll eventually wake up and we only we won't have to worry about bad dreams for too long, which is nice. The Dream Eater shouldn't be a lot of damage because it's non-stab, like his Dark Pulse is going to be doing more damage to us. My accuracy is really low right now, so maybe we'll land the Secret Power. Yes! Suck it, Noah! Haha! <laughs> that's... That's probably not the right attitude to have for a cheery, lighthearted video like Badoop dunking everyone. But I don't care anymore.
I don't care because that guy was a hacker. And that's like I I've, I've showed you the multiple levels. Just finish it off. Don't make this battle any longer than it needs to be. Or I'm gonna waste my time more than your. Or I'm wasting your time more than you're wasting mine. So if you guys enjoyed this video, probably didn't unless you're as cynical as I am. And if you are, then I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you all have a nice day. I need to rethink this format. I have a couple of story time things maybe, but the AFK I don't know. AFK Badoof is always more fun until I do it, and then maybe we'll just shelve this one for like another month or two.